All right, in this video, we're gonna show you how to convert a file. We're gonna use this PCB for an example. And uh, we're gonna choose, eventually we're gonna choose two points. And just to let you know, we're gonna choose the uh, PLC C68 as one of our reference point. And the secondary reference point that we're gonna select is gonna be this one in the corner, the S08. Okay, let's get started. First, we'll start with the user interface. Um, we're gonna open the port list. Uh, once you open the print list, if you look here, it says file convert. Let's click on that. Alright, so I'll take a look at how it looks once you open it. And obviously we're going to click open. And uh, we already have the file in our QM folder. Uh, so the first step is that you want to look for the file. So let's click on CSV comma delimited. Okay, and that's the file right there. We named it whole part list. We'll select it and open it. Okay, now you have your file here. And if you look carefully, some of the uh, columns or rows are not in the correct location. So we're going to fix that. So we're going to select number one and we're going to delete that. Okay, as you can see, some of them shifted. Now we're going to delete that one okay so now we got the sequence the part the x y uh, column four we're going to delete that there's no need for that okay and then we're going to insert a column so we're going to space it out so now you can see that the rotation is in the correct place the part is in the correct place, sequence. Now we're just bringing the notes. The notes used to be under, I think under vision, but we moved it under notes. With these uh, buttons down here, you can delete, you can insert, or you can push over the uh, columns. Um, okay, so now that we have that, we're gonna select number one. And as you remember, we need two reference points. So that's going to be one. As you can see here is the PLCC 68, which earlier in the video I mentioned that was going to be one of our reference points. So now, going back to the user interface, you can select uh, one or 2,000 steps. We got to move the down looking camera to the center of the first reference point, which is a PLC C68. Okay, you can bring down the numbers, put it down to 100. You just want to center it. Okay, so once you center it, you're gonna come down here. You're gonna select set point one. Okay, so that's set point one. Once again. That was the first PLCC. Uh, now we're going to move the down looking camera to the SO8, which is this one over here. All right. As you can see here, we went with the 2000. Gotta look for it. All right, we're moving the down looking camera to the SO8, which is there. You can see it here. Brought it down to some smaller defined numbers, a 10. Get it in the center. All right, so remember, that's gonna be your second reference point. Now we're gonna bring the window up so we can see. And then we're gonna set point two, okay? Once we do that, we're gonna hit calibrate. And then, as you can see here, has generated all these numbers into steps and then we're going to save the part list we're going to give it that name converted file we're going to save it we're going to overwrite it we're going to close it now let's go back to our part list as you can see it's currently empty we're going to click open we're going to select the correct file, convert file, open, 
And now the part list is completed. You have your sequence, you have the name of the part, you have your X and Y in actual steps, which the machine works in steps. Uh, you have your rotation, you have your uh, note. As you can see here, the only thing missing is a Z, and that's something we would have to figure out for each part. Um, so that's how you automatically generate a part list. And um, we can select any part. We go, go to part. So we select that one, which is a PLC, and it goes to it. Let's select another random part, uh, U26, go, and it's going to go to that part, and so on. So that's how you convert the file.